So in the mail, I received a care package from Kim Tippin, and, and you know how it goes, I'll put her over there for her channel. Uh, what I'm gonna do is like I did with Jake, I'm gonna do sort of a collab and throw her under the bus with the resin here. Uh, I've already looked in here, so uh, it, it, what she sent me was a bunch of seashells, and obviously she bought these ones, but, and some rope. Now these ones were collected off the beach, and I'm a little scared to turn these, but I hear they're kind of like turning concrete. And she sent me some, I'm not quite sure what they are. I'm gonna bet she made these, pretty cool looking. I'm guessing, and I know she made this one. So uh, what I'm gonna do with this is put a little magnet on here and stick it on a lathe. <laughs> and she also sent me some holographic glitter. So what I'm gonna do is build a project. I'm gonna use her, her bucket and send her a bowl back in or a bulb. I'm gonna send it back into bucket. So all right, let me get on it. I'm gonna send her actually a piece of box elder, rotten, rotten box elder, Kim. Her tools are sharp, because <laughs> it tears out bad. But she tends to like that ocean look, so that's what I'm gonna do in our collab and in my project. But in order to see this one, you're gonna have to go over and uh, mm, 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 over over there, 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 and watch her. <laughs> We'll put that video at the end and hopefully everything comes together. You know how it goes. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on this so it stays in there where I want it to. And don't float, hopefully, or it won't come undone. I, I, I've gone and put these pieces in because it's a, it's missing a really big chunk out of it. And it's going to really throw it off balance. And I didn't want to put that much resin in there. It might melt this thing. Now, I've made it so it fit, ground things out so it fits in. So it should have little caverns and stuff in it, hopefully. Depending on how she turns it, and that's totally up to her. And I uh, can't see. Anyway, so that's what we're gonna have in there. It's still got quite a big hole, but in case the bowl rounds or anything that leaves that open, I thought about putting more in, in up in there, but oh well. Let me uh, get the resin mixed up. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use a two to one total boat. I'm gonna mix all these colors up and pour it, and then uh, I'll cover all the colors in that when we get over onto my project, so I'm gonna use the exact same colors. Floating. Alright, that's all I'm gonna do for now. Colors for both these projects, with the exception of this, are indigo. This one's not in the other one. Stream, dual blue green, apple green, micro pearl, alumilite blue dye, the black diamond Caribbean blue, black diamond cobalt blue. Now, all these colors except for this indigo or in the other project I did for King. Uh, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna pour part of this and then that way this stays stuck down and I don't have such a big pour going on. And I'm gonna hope that what I wanna do with this, cause I'm gonna do a yarn bowl out of this. What I wanna do will be that seam or witness line will be where I cut in and then come around. So hopefully it hides in there somewhat. <laughs> Anyways, let me get, uh, we're gonna go with the the to total boat, high performance resin, two to one, slow set hardener, 
And we can get that mixed up and all the little pots out and we'll go over that. Okay, so Macro Pearl, Apple Green, the Stream, and uh, Indigo, I believe, Indigo. So I only want a portion of this, but I'm gonna pour these so they stay. I'm trying to keep them just where I want. And I went with as thin as possible on the shelves other than a couple of these pieces. But I picked out all the thinner ones because I've been warned about the dangers of turning this glass looking stuff. So anyways, I'm gonna pour some of this down on these guys and hopefully they stick there. It was the plan for it anyways. I want it to stick to the bottom and not float when I put the rest in so I don't have the same problems I had with Kim's. <laughs> it kept floating on me. And then I had to make a second pour on it because it ate all the resin. Where did all the resin go? Kind of picked through the shells and I took the thinner ones instead of these really thick ones. I was a little worried about those. I'm tearing up the tools and then I'm just gonna kind of drop them in now and hopefully take up some space and get them all the way up to the top like I want. Maybe I'll strategically place them. <laughs> I think that's what I'm gonna go with. Let me get the resin mixed up and we'll pour it in. Uh, this layer is gonna be a little more translucent. I don't wanna go so dark on it. I'm still gonna use these mica powders, just not very much of it. I kinda of want it in there, but not. I wanna be able to see these through the water, so to speak. Okay, so before I get the gas mask on and the helmet and all that good stuff so that y'all can't understand what I'm saying anyways, what I want to do, uh, I, I want to establish where we're true all the way around, uh, yay far like so, so I can get my round up, my rounding over there. Somewhere roughly in here, this is going to cut in probably back in here somewhere as my base, and then I got to cut in from my, my rim and, and do my bowling But I want to get this on just in case because I don't know what's in those shells and then a, a face mask and I'm using the, the pointy tool here from Easywood and establish where I want things and then probably go with the I think they call it a, a rougher a round one but I put a carbide on it so I'm not really chipping into it too bad or not carbide but a, a negative rate but I'm not sure how that's gonna go through those shells so we're about to find out but let me get all overdressed for this and we'll get going on it in a second I've only got about 975 that's the best I can do at the moment uh, until I get this leveled out a bit. Anything slower and the lathe walked away, anything faster and the lathe walked away. So that's my sweet spot for the moment. I gotta tell you, <laughs> it's gonna look really cool if I get it done. Uh, this is rough. That's just really hard. They keep getting catches and, and ripping through the resin and the shells. So I'm gonna try to get it to where I want it anyways, and then we'll go from there.
But as you can see, this is going pretty rough. <laughs> I'm trying to get a basic shape. I got a couple cracks in here. I'd probably do the moisture in the shells even though I dried them out. They probably still held some. I'm not sure why this is even like that. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I'm just trying to get a basic shape and I'm really tearing up the tools. So I, I got to do some twisting it a bits here. Right at the moment, just little cuts. Uh, I'm going to get this down underneath a little bit more and probably leave that profile in. Try to work on this. Uh, my detailer, I don't have any more bits for my detailer. So that's going to be a rough one. <laughs> and I also got to get this in and then come back out from my rim and fix the bottom up a bit and maybe take that down a little smaller. So I gotta fix a bunch of boo-boos in there, hopefully. I think I'm done trying to shape this. I'm gonna try to sand the rest of it out after I get these done, because it's quite a bit of tear out. Okay, so you can see what it looks like at the moment. What I am doing, I'm gonna leave this shape, and I think I've changed my mind. I am not gonna cut this up and make a yarn bowl out of it. I'm sorry, Kim. <laughs> I'm still trying to fill these little voids, and I'm mixing up uh, the, the fast set hardener. It's got like a, you know, a 15 minute working time. And I put a little bit of mermaid in it. Uh, mermaid seems to disappear and blend right in. And when I mixed it up, it kind of looked like the same color. So I went with it and it was, you know, another one of those happy mistakes. But so all I'm doing is I'm just kind of letting it flow down into those and I'll keep wiping it back up till I get them filled. And, and, and I have quite a few of them. I'm a little worried about when I do the inside. I'm worried about them coming apart. So this is all I am currently doing, I'm touching these up so that they are smooth when I sand this out. Uh, I'll try to use the negative rake and see if I can peel some of this extra off before I get too far into it. Woohoo! I'll sand it up to like 320. Uh, there's quite a bit. I can't, I just can't get these out. And even if I try to hit it with the tools, all I do is make it worse. So I sanded and sanded and um, yeah, sanded. And I got a little bit of chatter and some scratches I can't remove. I'm hoping that the abrasive paste will take care of it. I am a little worried that's not going to stay on there. So, uh, on and run. Oh, that's not too bad. All right, let me get the mask and the shield on. And... Ah, we'll call it good.
All right, since I'm quite a ways into time on this video, <laughs> I think I'm right up there about 18 minutes or so at this point. I'm not gonna do a whole lot of talking here until I get through the end. I'm just gonna try to work my way through this with carbide cutter. I'm not so worried about the center because there isn't a lot in there, but it's it's like this section here. Same thing here. Uh, what I am worried about is that that constant hammering, because I couldn't get it to turn very fast, I'm gonna go as fast as I can get it. That constant hammering, I'm worried about cracking this and just blowing it apart. So um, it, I'm just gonna try to keep sharp tools on here and we will go from there. Uh, so it started banging so bad that uh, I was losing <laughs> big pieces. So I hit these with a, a die grinder just just to knock down the shells. I might have gone a little too deep. But I've got to fill all these busted out pieces and the cracks from banging on it so hard. And I still got it together in one piece. Uh, currently, I, I've shaped up to so far and just the constant hammering isn't doing it any good. So I am... Uh, cheating at the moment to try to get rid of this tarot here and here uh, it's cracked on me and all the way through the outside so I kind of got to refinish the outside again and I've got some other ones in here but I'm gonna go back and fill these in like I did the other side right now I, I'll show you what I'm doing as soon as y'all back up some uh, pretty much I'm just working in here and giving it a break so it don't get too hot and I don't want to melt anything it's been a long process. Let me get my mask back on. So once I get this out of here, this is pretty deep. I'll go back and fill these. I don't wanna put it in there at the moment. I'm still trying to get rid of this right here. And I'll come back in. I still gotta sand it. I started sanding it out here and I've got some chatters in here that I gotta get removed. And you know, like I said, there's there's holes and cracks and uh, just the constant hammering. That's where I'm at. I'm sorry, this video is really long. <laughs> but it is what it is. When I'm ready to, 
I do the sand and sealer and all that, I'll come back in. Alright, so it's all sanded up. Hey, uh, you know, put the respirator on. <laughs> Anyways, that was pretty well accurate. I've had finished both sides. Finish both sides. I can't even talk with this thing on my face. I finished both sides again because I had a split and I've sanded it back, I don't know, a bunch of times. I'm tired of sanding it. So let's see if I can get this uh, evened out with this lacquer. Probably be three or four coats or so before I get it like glass, but that's my plan. And then we'll get it over there and talk about it on the board. Oh, yeah, so we're spending that 100 RPMs too. There you go. That's it. Kim sent me two. There's the other one there. Uh, like I said, I'm going to put, uh, I've already put her link over there earlier for her channel. I should have the video link here after the pictures or in the pictures for her half of this project. So there is my half of the project. Uh, it turned out, <laughs> it turned out, how about that? I finished it and that's all that really matters. I'm not sure what happened down here. Uh, the constant beating, I think, but it's one piece. It's it's one piece. It's got let me see the fractures in it. Uh, it, it, it took a, a really hard beating. I went through uh, I don't know, half a dozen square carbide cutters and half a dozen or so round ones, uh, but it but it looks really good. I finished it in lacquer. That that gave me some issues too, uh, but. But it looks really good. Now this one's not for sale. I got my logo in there. I burned it. <laughs> this box holder was a little soft, so it uh, it burnt right in there before I realized it. So it's a little a little. Uh... <laughs> but anyway, so uh, yeah. <laughs> so uh, all the support I got from everybody out there. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> I don't know what to say other than that. This one is not for sale, like I said. This don't ask me to buy it. It's already gone. It's already sold. <laughs> but she can't have it until she gets that other one done. So, it, because you know, obviously the video can't go up until the other one's done. So uh, seashells, mm, bad idea. It's really pretty. <laughs> I, I like how it turned out. I mean, it's got some really cool details down in there, but you know, it, it did stay kind of clear at the top, like I wanted. Uh, they are hard as a rack. Uh, I wound up uh, die grinding some of them down in here, these long ones, and then uh, using a, <laughs> uh, a 90 degree grinder with a flappy sandy 60 degree grit, 60 grit flappy sandpaper disc on it. That, that was just so that I could get this shape the way I wanted it without beating on it because I started losing chunks. And it, 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 it is what it is. But anyways, uh, this video is really long. I'm sorry it has to be that way. But it is, you know. <laughs> so so anyways, um, Kim Tippin, go over check her out. Uh, her video, go see that also. Um, and then, yeah, I'll get, I'll get pictures up at the end. And uh, we'll see you all next week. <laughs>